Welcome to our 2020 Cougar half ton 29 MBS from Keystone. Uh, I just want to give a little video tour to show some of the great features. This is a mid bunk house. So when you come in the door, you can see there's the, the door to the bunk house. And inside we have a top bunk, which you can um, push upward and connect to the top to lock it um, up if you want. And um, down below, it's the perfect size for a toddler bed. It's just a mattress in there now and a, a toy box um, or bookshelf. Um, but you could also create what you want in there. We have a lot of storage space. So in here, there's a closet um, with a top shelf and really deep drawers with tons of space. So three drawers of that size. And then over here, there's a little countertop surface and more storage. And then up above, more cabinets here. One modification we made on the bunk room is that we created a, um, a Dutch door. So we have kids, and this has really worked well for us with our small kid, that we can use the bottom half like a baby gate, um, especially when we're packing up or doing things where we want to keep them safe. But they can still, you know, have some airflow and we can see in what they're doing. And even if you don't have kids, we realized that this was a great mod because bunk rooms tend to get hot, even with the air conditioning on. So this way you can have some nice airflow into the bunk room by leaving um, part of the door open. Um, that's it for the bunk out. It is a slide. So um, there are three slides in the, in the whole RV. And oh, and it also has um, a, a sky roof, a little ventilation there. So that's really nice too for airflow. And then coming out of the bunkhouse, we have the living area with the theater seating. Um, it's not plugged in right now, but there's LED lights that line the bottom. The chairs have massage and heating and they fully recline. You just pull here comes out and if you were to lay back it reclines all the way backward and then across from the seating we have a nice large screen flat screen um, TV and entertainment system it takes DVDs and down below is an electric fireplace which we found to be a really nice feature um, when we had hookups a lot of times when it was cold all we needed was the fireplace we didn't have to run the the heater and use the propane. So that was really great. Plus it gives a nice um, ambiance. Up here, some more storage. This thing is just filled with storage. We could not even fill it up. We had lots of empty cabinets. And here is uh, what we used as the pantry. So really deep shelves. We have some um, shelf stacker organizers in the back. And then down here, another deep cabinet, which we, we used to put the trash in, it fit perfectly in there. And then we have our freezer and fridge combo. We have some little add-on there um, to keep track of the temperature. It's a remote um, that displays the temp up there. So the fridges are not on right now. And we also added extra ventilation to help keep the fridge cool. And this really gave us no problems once we added that seems to be a common problem with these um, RV fridges is they don't always stay that cold. So we added that feature. Then we have our gas stove. So this folds up like a backsplash, three gas burners. Um, they all work well. I can turn them on. So they all work great. We also have um, a gas oven, which we actually did not use because we uh, got a Ninja Foodie um, for our oven purposes, but that also works fine. And lots of more storage. Um, these drawers are great for utensils. 
Um, and then more storage here. We have a really big storage under here, which we got a countertop dishwasher, which would be included if the buyer is interested. Um, we also have uh, put in a filtration system for our water at this tap. Then we can drink the water straight from the tap, from the holding tank or from the city water. Um, and it's nice and safe and tasty. More storage, lots of storage in here, as I said. And two more here. There's even these overhead cabinets, which are great for things you maybe don't use so often. We put a lot of like trays and um, cutting boards up there. And here's the microwave, just a standard microwave. You also have the hood vent here. And let's see. So that's the kitchen. Here's the dinette. So it's a booth dinette. There is storage under each dinette seat. It's hard to see, but it goes way back. Good spot for dry goods, sodas, beers, whatever. This also converts into another bed, which we never used it as that, but um, you just take the legs off the table. It's really easy. There's a little ledge here where the tabletop lays across, and then you put the extra cushions on to make a mattress so you could sleep another person comfortably there if you have a guest. All the window blinds are working and functional. Um, it's also tinted from the outside, so during the day, if you have the shades up, nobody can see inside. And then going back here to the entryway, we have another storage cabinet. We put up an extra um, rack here for like a key key hanger and you know throw your phone or wallet up there. Then a coat rack. We put this shoe holder that fits perfectly in. Down below is the propane detector um, in case you have a leak. We never had that go off. Fortunately, um, here is the in-command system. So it's a digital system and you can control um, almost everything from in here. So put in our, so you have your um, air conditioning and heating, your lights, slides and awnings are controlled. Um, you see your battery, water pump, water heater, lights all here. You can see your tanks which if you're new to RVing, these are notoriously wrong in all RVs, but actually right now they're pretty accurate. Um, here's the bathroom. So we have a, a real porcelain based toilet and works well. And well, I can flush it. I turn the pump on and you can see the toilet works great. And more storage goes way far back. So really great for linens and toiletries. We installed a different shower head than which, what it came with, which gives a bit more water pressure and um, worked really nicely. And there's a, a bench there and the sink. More storage below. And above is a cabinet and inside we did install our um, display for our solar, which I'll get to later, but we have installed solar. So there's 400 Watts. And so this is nice because you don't need to go outside. Like typically you would have the display outside, but here you can view it from inside to see how many um, amp hours you have left. And you can turn the inverter on and off right from here. So that's kind of a cool feature. And then we have the master bedroom, um, which has a, again, the mattress was in, uh, bought after, so it's not the manufacturing mattress, but um, it's like a nice memory foam mattress with um, a pretty thick topper. So I can show you here. So there's a nice topper, there's the mattress, and it's, it's um, not too soft, it's kind of, in between and uh, lots of 
closet space here. We put these little cloth shelves in. And there's these are drawers at the bottom. And then we have more storage. And again, these are really deep cabinets going way back. There's another on the bottom and that's repeated on the other side. And then overhead cabinets, having lots of space there as well. Um, we have USB outlets by each bed and there's other ones throughout the RV. Um, lots of accent lighting, table side lights, and oh, here we have uh, an air conditioning. We also have air conditioning um, up at the, the rear. So there's two air conditioners. And, and then of course there's a, a furnace as well. That's about it for the inside of the RV. And I'll take you on a tour of the outside. All right, so for the outside, we have both awnings extended. A really nice feature is that there's double awnings here and you get lots of shade out front. This is the dinette slide here, um, which is out right now. And um, the front door, you have a, a screen door here. So you can get some fresh air inside. And just a little close up of the decals. It's a all season, um, solar ready, and we did install solar. Here's the stairs. This was like a little add-on, which is really nice, especially if you have kids or um, even for adults, sometimes it's a little tricky on the stairs. So that was added. Here's our pass-through storage, lots of space. This is a custom-built storage, um, which fit nicely in some, some chairs and a picnic table. And over here is the in-command system. And then there's the switches for the heated holding tanks and um, the satellite and cable TV. And in here would be your propane tank. There's one on each side. In the front, we have another storage, which unfortunately we had a small accident, but um, we chose to not fully repair it because it does not go through the other side. So. Um, we just patched it on the outside and you could choose to fix that if you want. You can definitely buy replacement doors for that. Um, here's the spare and then here's our solar setup. So we have two lithium batteries with 200 amp hours and 400 watts of solar. So I'll just give a little tour of that. And this gave us a lot of days of boondocking. Um, and of course it varies from person to person how much energy you use, um, but we were able to boondock for, you know, with our tanks for four to five days before needing to dump. Um, of course, if you have sunny weather, that makes it easier. And just going around the RV to show you all the sides, the dinette slide out of the back here the ladder up onto the roof. Um, for orientation, that's the, the kitchen. So you have some views out the kitchen while you're at the sink or while you're cooking, another window out the kitchen. And some ventilation for the fridge. This is the, the fresh water connection. And we can look at the tires. We got those put on in April of this year. So there's plenty of tread left and much higher quality than the tires that come with the RV. There's a automatic stabilizing um, auto leveling system. There's your, your black tank, um, or sorry, your gray tank. And this is the, the bunkhouse slide. And then we have the wet bay over here and another view from the storage. And the second propane tank is here. This is the wardrobe slide out. And no issues with these. We've been checking our seals and maintaining, um, also on the roof, maintaining the seals. So 
everything is in great condition and ready to go. Um, down there is the the black tank outlet and oh and here is the um, electronic leveling system. So in there you just push some buttons to to hitch up and to unhitch and to level and it's really a dream to have that. Um, we also have the gooseball adapter. That's what we used at, for our hitch system. Um, it worked really well and that's included if you prefer to keep it. Um, and then coming to the, the front of the RV, there's LED lights, um, docking lights, and again, everything's in really great condition. We just had it freshly detailed, so it looks shiny and great. So just message us if you're interested in stopping by and taking a look. So the last part of the tour is I'll show the roof. So no issues up here. You can check out the solar. We have three, four panels. And as said, we've been maintaining the seals and everything is great. No leaks on the roof, no problems there. Some seals.